When classic actresses are mentioned these days, people tend to focus on Catherine Hepburn, Elizabeth Taylor, Ingrid Bergman and others. While these actresses were incredibly successful, Glenda Farrell also deserves to be spoken about. This brilliant star was often cast as a wisecracking gold-digging dame, but most of her roles showcase the opposite of who she was in real life. In reality, Glenda Farrell was a hard worker who had a kind heart. She was also generous to a fault, so she couldn't say no to a salesperson. This led to her owning three vacuum cleaners and several sets of encyclopedias. There are a lot of other interesting and surprising facts about this 1930s star, and this video will reveal them to you. She lived her mother's dream life. The witty and smart blonde of the classical Hollywood film era, Glenda Farrell had the consistent support of her mother right from the beginning of her career. At the age of seven, she was already acting with a theatrical company, and her acting skills were evident. Thankfully, her family was fully on board with her desire to pursue an acting career. The foundation of her career was laid at an early age with the help and support of her mother. Unlike some Hollywood stars who didn't have the support of their parents, Glenda's mother believed in her, and she was the driving force behind Glenda's career. However, a lot of people didn't know that Glenda's mother wanted to be an actress too, but she never got to achieve that dream. While Glenda's mother was cheering her daughter on and watching her career grow, she was constantly reminded of the fact that she never achieved her own dream of becoming a successful actress. She literally watched her daughter grow into the actress she always wanted to be. It must have been a little awkward for Glenda because she got the career her mother wanted so desperately. While Glenda was appearing in Broadway plays, films and television series, her mother kept cheering her on every step of the way. The fact that she was living her mother's dream life didn't cause any enmity or jealousy between them, her mother was beyond elated and proud of her. The endless encouragement from her mum was a major contributing factor to her eventual success and fame. She took a ceremonial role seriously. Glenda Farrell's career was certainly an interesting one. After her debut film role, she knew for a fact that she wanted to pursue acting full-time. She was filled with enthusiasm as she saw her dreams unfold, and it was only a matter of time before the world got to know her name. She also ensured that she made decisions that supported the career she was building at the time. One of those decisions was her relocation to New York in search of more career opportunities. From the late 1920s to the early 1930s, she appeared in several plays like Divided Honours and Skidding. She later got her first significant film role when she was chosen as the female lead, Olga Stasov in Little Caesar. Her portrayal of Olga Stasov turned out to be one of her best roles at the time. She was able to showcase her brilliance and her ability to bring a character to life. Glenda later signed a contract with Warner Brothers, which launched her into even more success in Hollywood. After appearing in several movies like Miss Pacific Fleet, We're in the Money, and Smart Blonde, she was elected to a one-year term as the honorary mayor of North Carolina in 1937. She beat her competition Bing Crosby and Lewis Stone by a three-to-one margin, and her fans certainly celebrated her win. Interestingly, her being elected as an honorary mayor was a Warner Brothers strategy to enable her more publicity. However, what was supposed to be a ceremonial role turned into a serious job. She was not required to carry out any serious duties, but she decided that she was going to take the job seriously regardless. Some people found it weird that she was actually carrying out certain functions and doing the work that she wasn't required to do. During that period, she attended ceremonies, presentations, and functions as an honorary mayor. Some onlookers and fans claimed that her workaholic nature was getting the best of her, while others applauded her for the work she was putting in. Despite the assumptions that were made regarding the work she was putting in, she kept on showing up as the honorary mayor of Hollywood until her tenure was over. Her success didn't keep her away from theatres. While Glenda Farrell was making waves in the 1930s, she got exposed to the perks of appearing in major films and the financial advantages that came with it. But despite the level of fame and financial success that came with appearing in films, Glenda found herself wanting to return to theatres often. The fact that she desired to return to Broadway, even after achieving immense success, was a bit puzzling. It is very rare for an actor or actress to want to go back to appearing in plays after tasting the advantages that come with playing roles on screens. 
Most of her colleagues would have never considered ever participating in theatre plays again after achieving success through films. Glenda seemed like the odd one out of her colleagues because she kept returning to theatre at several points in her career. Something about being a part of theatre productions sparked new acting ideas and strategies inside her. Being on stage also made her remember the foundation of her career and the work she put in to get to where she was. She believed that while motion pictures offer immense salaries, theatre is the foundation of an actor's profession. This belief was what led her to return to Broadway after her role in Little Caesar. During that period, she starred in several plays including On the Spot. Several years later, she spoke about her appreciation for theatre. In her words, There's something more satisfying about working in a play. You get that immediate response from the audience, and you feel that your performance is your own. In pictures, you get frustrated because you feel you have no power over what you're doing. The sore throat dilemma that led to marriage. Because Glenda Farrell was laser-focused on her career, some areas of her life were not often talked about. One of these areas of her life was her marital life. The actress was actually married twice in her lifetime. Her first marriage was to Thomas Richards, whom she met at a Navy benefit ball. Her second marriage, however, was born from an awkward meeting that she never saw coming. While Glenda was performing in the play's separate rooms, in the late 1930s, she got a sore throat that wound up changing her life. She had been performing in the play for over two years on the open road in Chicago and New York, but she eventually got tired and got a sore throat. Because she was still stage-struck, she decided to get treated so that she could return to the stage, but the doctors that attended to her didn't help her get better. Someone later advised her to see Henry Ross, who was one of the greatest doctors in New York at the time. The person also told her that the doctor was a wonderful man and the catch of New York at the time. Glenda Farrell was not interested in dating anyone. She just wanted to get well. After a while, she reluctantly went to see the doctor and their meeting turned out to be more than Glenda expected. He gave her a solution to her sore throat and he also showed interest in her. After that incident, they kept on talking and eventually got into a relationship shortly after. They later got married in 1941. She would never have guessed that a sore throat dilemma would lead her to her husband. Their marriage turned out to be beautiful and they remained together for the rest of Glenda's life. An unexpected return from retirement. When an actor or an actress retires, people usually expect it to be final, but Glenda's story was a bit different. She made the announcement that she was retiring from her 50-year-long career in 1968. Her fans were certainly saddened by the news of her exit from the industry, but they also acknowledged her work. However, after being retired for a while, she decided to return to acting again. Several people found this shocking, especially because it was unheard of. No one expected her to come back to acting after she had clearly stated that she was done with acting. Unfortunately, she couldn't keep acting for too long as her health began to deteriorate, she ended up retiring finally after her role in the play, 40 Carats. Sadly, Glenda Farrell passed away in 1971, leaving her footprints in the sands of time. Which of Glenda Farrell's performances would you love to watch if given the chance to? Let us know in the comments section and check out the next video in this series.